Hello and welcome back to Face It TV. We are here for our third match of the evening, which is Hellraisers once more versus Gamers 2 Kingwin. Well, Dan, Hellraisers coming off a tough loss to. Are you going to say anything now? Sure. Sure. Oh, why, why not? Maybe I will. Hellraisers coming They're off a tough loss. Passive aggressive. <laughs> coming off a tough <laughs> loss to TSM on overpass. Got yeah. to get their heads back in the game now. Again, they're going to be playing with two subs. First is the Kingwin team. This is their first match, I believe, under the gamers' two colours. My piece of paper says it's going to be cash. So, yeah, this is great for Kingwin. This is a really good Kingwin map. Hellraisers. But it's the pick of Hellraisers. I know, I know it is. But the thing is, th actually, that's surprising that you would ever choose this map against. Kingpin. But, Cash, uh, but games two. I need to get it in my head. That would it be? Two now. But is that an is that uh, an overreaction though? You know, yes, they did. Uh, they did sixteen zero well, versus Pro at the last finals. But does that mean that they're going to do that to every team, or they're going to be good because you know styles make fights and so on? The thing is, James, is that you have to also recall that the Hellraisers they love picking cash. It's it's a map that they feel really comfortable on. So I think I really feel like this is a choice where we just want to play cash if we can, as opposed to oh crap, it's this team. Let's not play cash. Yeah, I, I think I think that's how they look. Can't at live this. in fear, guys. You can't live <coughs> in fear. Because if you recall, they they often do pick cash. Oh look how cute their avatars are, Dan. They're cute avatars. I want, I want, I want. So do I. I want one of these. So do I. Team Liquid made us. I want it now. So I'm like. I don't even know what the right word is. Like a mosaic, mosaic portraits of you and I. I don't want to be a mosaic. I actually tweeted the name of the artist who made these. I am impressed. Anyway. We're not going to cast this. I like a Dren's knife. That's all I'm going to say. How races feel comfortable here. But the thing is, they have two stand-ins, essentially fixed and simple. So anything that you would have expected them to be <coughs> able to do is technically... Half of it, they're probably thinking, oh, we can't really do this cause because there's two guys who aren't normally playing with us. So they're not really going to know what to do if we say it's it's time for the Albatross strategy. I think this is a good map for simple. <laughs> I was not listening to anything yeah, you were just saying. Yeah, you realize that. That's why I, I started laughing. I have no idea what you said. <laughs> but, but I think this is a good map for simple. And I, I'm looking forward to seeing this because this, this is a style of map. I don't know what team it was. I think it was a Danish team he was playing against on Cash, where on the T side he was just running into B and annihilating people with an AK every single round. Every single round. Do you remember that? We were casting it. Oh, sorry, James. Was I supposed to listen to what you, you're saying? Oh, Dan's having a hissy fit. Are you upset, <laughs> Dan? Do you want a flower? Here's a flower. It's a pen. It's not a flower. Now you're not raising false expectation. You're making it worse. You're not I nice don't care. I don't care. Anyways. I gave you a miso soup today. Yeah, and so I So you have nothing to complain about. I have I have also bought you one. Oh, you have? Yeah. Oh, thanks. Repaid the debt. Thank you. And I even bought you water as well. You did. I realized that I had barely drunk any water today. I was somewhat dehydrated and my head was hurting. <laughs> Dan furnished me with water and my head no did longer Did you say hurts. I furnished you with water? I did, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that makes no sense at all. It does make sense. I don't know. It, it does. Yes, it does. It, it doesn't make any sense. Yes, it does. Someone tell me what this says. Furnish you with water. What the? I what don't even know what language that is. I guess it's some kind of uh, something. Sounds like you don't know that. Sounds like you don't know. So, pistol time. Hellraisers versus Kingwin. G2 Kingwin. This is going to take some getting used to. As Gamers 2 is clearly the primary name. So. G2 playing the retake. It's somewhat similar to uh, Liquid, but look at Rain playing very, very close to the site indeed, getting the first shot onto Angel as well. Did we pick Rain? Uh, no. I wanted to, Dan. I wanted to pick Rain. Well, well it's a standard A retake strap from them. Let's see if they can execute it with finesse as they move in together now and the bomb is taken away. So far, it's, it's not looking so good actually. That, that incendiary, or Molotov, I'm not sure if he threw that, but that has done a huge amount of damage. Because Kingman, or Games 2, they wanted to move in. They wanted to move in a lot faster than this. This is a problem. This is a big problem. 
What are they going to do here? Michael Elliott is just stuck there. He knows that there's somebody lurking. He knows it's impossible to defuse that. And then we would come out to get the frag and promptly die. It but was Flavor Flav time. I meant to say it was Flavor Flav Dan. Time was ticking, but I ruined my joke myself. Why did you do that? I don't know. Adrenaline's making me want a Karen bit, Crimson Web. I just want to put that out there. Hellraiser is going to be on the. Uh, well, sorry, Kinguin. G2 Kinguin. Going to be on the Force Buy. We've got a Scout and a bunch of pistols. Angel will be boosted, almost finding a second frag. I don't know if uh, G2 can reach that SMG without going for a boost, but they've only got one person on that side of mid. A has been abandoned by Gamers 2. Again, that Scout is still in play with Makalele. Dennis sounds a 10 HP with the CZ. Fox playing headshot with a 5 7. Screen peeking around in mid. You can see uh, <coughs> Dennis is playing under the boost at the moment, so should Hellraisers go for a B split, that is going to be a problem for them. Maybe suggesting that there's going to be a play, trying to just keep the uh, G2 players busy in mid with that smoke. So, Fox in the headshot area, can he hold? Oh, they thought that the Molotov was going to clear him out, so they don't know that he's there. Oh no, he finally does get a kill. I, was ho I thought he was going to get nothing out of that. But that could easily have been two, which would have put Gamers 2 in a, in a round winning position. But now it's not looking so good for them anymore. Now the bomb has finally been planted and we've got Fix on the site and his two teammates post-plant setup is outside of the bomb site in Venice and storage. So, so pretty good situation. Hellraiser should have this one in the bag. There we go. 2K. Easy 3k. Is that $1,800 he just got in one second or two? Mm -hmm. I think it was. Money, money, money. Two AKs coming out now for her razors. AK is always good to clean up as a cleanup operation should things go a little bit sour during these kinds of rounds, although that is unlikely now as we have the uh, eco coming out the G2. Following the failure of the force buy. That force buy means should they lose this round, when they have the buy in the following round, they won't have any orbs unless one of the players didn't force buy. And also they'll be lacking in the, the grenades. No lack of grenades on Hellraiser's side though. You see them getting the Molotovs into all the sneaky spots on the A site Again, G2 playing for the retake or maybe the exit frags. Yeah, uh, generally speaking, I think for this position it's exit frags as of course they have no chance to use the bomb. So that's what they're looking for. And whether they get anything, I would be surprised. Although simple to see though, but, but yeah. I mean, this is this is basically, you know, standard kind of uh, garbage time to an extent. You know, we get to that, that fourth round where now things really get interesting. We start to see the real counter strike get played. We'll, we'll see Gamers 2 picking up their, the weapons that they want. Um, I'm curious as to how the AWP dynamics will work out because with a team like Gamers 2, you have a lot of players that can AWP pretty, pretty well. You've got Dennis, Fox, and Mike Lely, who can all AWP very, very well. Um, Rain, Rain is, is uh, instrumental in the team as well because he's such a good rifler and he's very clutch. I mean, this, this team is full of clutch players as well, to be fair. I mean, Scream obviously is a pretty good rifler as well. So they're all just pretty good, James, when it comes to these individual plays. It appears they are. And one of the reasons why they're good at this map is because it's, it's, uh, the CTs can force aim battles on this map. When it actually comes to playing on the bomb sites, they can force those aim battles. So that's what they're going to be going for here. Well, oh. we've got a three-man push through B from Gamers 2, and that will net them an early frag onto Hellraiser's nice. very important frag. They're going to get away from there without revealing that, that there are three people towards B as well. Should things have gone wrong for them there, they have the third man for an effective response, but it will not be required, and they will reassign their positions. So, we're going to have Fox playing the checkers area. And, uh, rain has been lost. Hellraiser's looking to take some control of mid. And there is a soft flash in the mid area from the CTs as well. So that's going to be the information that Hellraiser's maybe not expecting the CTs to have at this point. Yeah, and it looks like Hellraiser's are trying to get themselves in that B-bomb site now. And Gamers 2, they don't really have players in position necessarily. Oh, Scream, he could do a lot of damage. He's going to find Simple. That's really important. Now that pressure is on from behind, but they managed to take down Fox by the Envious Box really quickly and that's unfortunate had he survived there he would have been able to peek with scream on a nice crossfire they would have owned that vent room together and that would have brought a lot of time for dennis and michael Elliott to come in but it's not the case instead harrow's is in with another good post plant setup on site and this is 
Not a good look for Kinguin, for Games 2 Kinguin. Need to really get used to that. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't help that their name says Kinguin in it, James. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like most of the letters say Kinguin as opposed to Gamers 2 as well. So yeah. it's going to be confusing for a little while. Mo getting dinked, but he will be the one to find the frag, taking Dennis down. And again, Kinguin went into that round, you know, on the back foot because of the force buy that didn't work out for them. So, you know, in a, in a situation where you do that and then you lose the buy round as well, then this is what happens. I, I do like the aggression though. Um, in mid from Scream, you could say that he was lucky that no one was watching at the time, but or maybe it was just a nice read from him, so credit to him. Getting that position to go for a super early flank on the B split, unfortunately, didn't pan out for Kinguin in the end, but maybe, just maybe, in the next fire round, Gamers 2 can do it. I'm calling him Kinguin and Gamers 2 in the same sentence, Dan. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that next fire round is going to be pretty critical, but they'll be able to actually afford the... Uh, the ops for the next buy round, so that, that buy is actually going to look different at least. Uh, in, in that uh, last last buy round, they decided to go for that deep storage aggression, and the round was, was actually starting to pan out for them. They just got a little bit unlucky, I think. So we can't draw too many conclusions from this so far. And Games 2 looking to do some more damage. Rain's going to be the one doing the damage. He's actually going to drop the bomber, and hey, what do you know? Dennis picks up a kill in middle, and all of a sudden there is a man advantage and some weapons here for Gamers 2 to play with. And Rain is looking to cause more damage. He's going to find a nice headshot kind of angle there by Forklift, and he picks up the kill. Rain is single-handedly demolishing Hellraisers in this round. That bomb is down, and Fox is creeping towards Quad. There's Dennis, who's up above. There is nothing Simple can do, and that is a very, very important round for Gamers 2 to win. And Because look at the money for Hellraisers now. They're going to spend more or less everything, and Gamers 2 have, have a really good buy into this round. Yeah, that was a super surprising round to win. You couldn't really uh, have expected that yeah. ever happening. So we're going to have the AWP on both sides. And again, this is a good map for Simple. And indeed, it will be Simple who will be AWPing at least on this occasion. So it's going to be Angel going for the one-man take of mid. We may see a late boost, but Angel might have killed everybody by that, by that time. Both trying to push through the smoke, but Angel will be the one to fall. Dennis going to retake the uh, mid area. Mo pushing through a bit too fast there. Through this smoke, not going to have the vision of Scream. Scream going to take two. A matter of seconds and it's three versus two here. The yeah, absolute madness there. Complete chaos. Chaos in which Gamers 2 will look to be the, uh, the victors. But Simple has his own idea of the situation and he's going to be able to put it back to a one-on-one. -on -one. And if we check the time, we can see that there's a minute left to play with in this round. But simple, he's just going to keep it, uh, well, he's going to keep it simple after his namesake. But that said, Make Michael Eddie will find the kill as he did spot the grenade going in and decided to peek. And it seems like that was a good choice. He's going to get the kill, get the round for Kingwin, or Gamers 2 Kingwin. And uh, the only issue for them is that they, they lost a lot of players in that round. They lost everyone but one. So despite being able to save the AWP, they are buying within the limits. It's unfortunate how Razors weren't able to get the bomb down there because this otherwise it would be a guaranteed force buy round. But they didn't get the bomb down. They just don't have any money. So they're deciding to go with a safe. And already Fox is going to start the procession with a nice defensive kill towards B story. As King as uh, sorry, Hell Razors are looking for those sneaky little one deeks. The you saw that second frag was the crab walk. The crab walk strafe with the AWP is still something I don't entirely understand, but it seems to work. I've been trying it myself as well and I don't know. It doesn't. It feels like it shouldn't work, but it does, and it's always annoying when you get taken up down by it. So this eco from Hellraisers has been finished off with uh, zero results for them. Yeah. Kinguin uh, Gamers two, reducing the deficit to just the one round now, and again, it will force Hellraisers to buy within a win within an inch of their economy. Well, Gamers two have a good opportunity to build. Full nades as well for the CT side. You can see it's a bit of a messy mix here for Hellraisers in terms of their nades. You might see some fast aggression towards A here. Again with the limitations. Oh, this could be good timing as well. We've got uh, essentially three people in mid. It's a 1-3-1 setup from Gamers 2. And Hellraisers are taking this opportunity to move into the A bomb site, but they're not winning the frags here. They've got a man disadvantage, evening things up now. Only for a second, Simple and Angel remain. And now it's Angel versus three. But we've got two of these three players heavily tagged indeed. Do they know where Angel is? The CTs have the bomb, but do they have the information as to his whereabouts? 
Well, Angel really needs to get some damage here. And oh dear, he's going to get spotted by Fox. Good stuff, good coverage across the uh, across all the relevant positions from Gamers 2. And they will tie up the type of score. Hellraisers could could decide to try to get some buy a buy in here, like a kind of a just some pistols and so on. I don't know that the force would be worth it, but we can see Angel's gonna pick up an oomph with no Kevlar, so Okay, okay, Adren had the Kevlar, alright, fair enough. That's quite cool actually, I like that. Um but a bunch of deeks again, simple is probably still the best Deagle player in the world. But, you know, when you're up against King when, when they have, or Games 2 when they have rifles, it doesn't really matter. As we can see, they are getting gunned down, cast aside, and Games 2 will continue their dominance. I wonder how far this momentum will take them, though. Because, again, Hellraisers, they, they don't... The problem with Hellraisers right now is that they're on the T-side, James. You wouldn't expect them to have many executes because there's two standards, right? Yes, so, that is a problem. So that means that they have to play the gameplay that Gamers 2 want, which is pick battles. That's where Gamers 2 are so, 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 so comfortable. Yeah, they are... You could say they are very good at the, the aiming duels, but generally speaking, if the T's can trade, then maybe they can get things into their favor. But we're seeing flurries of kills here and there. Simple losing a duel, pushing the squeaky door is Makalele. Another early advantage for the CT. Taking the lead now in this 5-4 to four after a shaky start versus our race. Many smokes around the B area. Again, Angel checking underneath the boost where uh, Mo fell foul earlier. That's pretty cool from Michael there, tossing in the incendiary. Then, you know, if there was somebody there, they would have to jump out of that position in the corner which would then put them, uh, they have to, would have to go back past the door and then he starts spamming the door. That's actually quite smart, I like that. It's yeah, cool. but what happened was Mo uh, realized that was happening and he went for an aggressive peek on short, took down Rain after taking some damage from Rain and then the fire finished him off. Yeah. So good play all around from both sides. That leaves Gamers 2 still with the man advantage. Fox playing on the site with the AWP. It's going to have to be pretty snappy if this push comes in. Again, there is a player uh, in the CT side of the vents behind the box for the T's. So it's cool positioning that they have. The problem is that they only have one Molotov. It's on Fix. Uh, and Fix is not in the vent room position because you need that Molotov. Oh, he's actually going to toss it into the site from the, the outside area by Toxic. And you can see how disjointed this push is in Hellraisers. And that, that's the reason why it was never going to work. It was way too disjointed. It would have been much better if Fix was much closer if he'd actually gotten into the vent room himself. And with uh, Angel, it would have been able to throw the Molotov onto the bomb site to el eliminate one of the positions and then go for it. I think it's still very unlikely they would have won the round, but uh, I think that would have been something that would have given them more, more uh, opportunity. Now we'll see more AKs in for Hellraisers, but so far we can see that Gamers 2, you know, they are... You know, they're, they're up against Hellraisers who are playing. Hellraisers have to beat them at their own game. And so far, we're not seeing that as the case. One third of the way through all of the possible rounds in normal time. And it's still fairly neck and neck, although Gamers 2 are the ones with somewhat of an economic advantage at present. You see, again, every buy for Hellraisers at the moment leave them with next to nothing in the bank. Got the usual wallbang shenanigans going on towards the squeaky door. And Angel has a position which is rotating, but Scream will get the frag. It will cost him most of his life, but he's still alive, and that's the main thing. Man advantage for the CTs. They've got three people over towards A, and one deep into B. And then, of course, one in the sandbag position. Fix getting dinked, but Rain will take him down. Can the uh, mid area be held by Dennis, who is by the sandbags? Coming out for the peak. They know Fix is low. They heard the dink. Dennis is just waiting. Always ruthless aggression. He's got support as well. He won't need it though. Getting Fix straight in the face. Just a Dren left now versus lots of heavily tagged players. So Dren in quite the predicament. He's got to get the bomb into that bomb site. He's got to get the plant down. He's got limited time to do so. Doesn't take much damage in that engagement. But there it is. A shot from Fox covering the angle. And that's going to be the round for Gamers 2 once again. So Hellraiser is still yet to put something on the board. And uh, it would be nice to see you know, something like a delayed mid-take. But the problem with stuff like that is that with a team like Gamers 2, they'll probably want to try to get some shots off there. So you're going to need to have the Molotovs for the vents. You're going to have to have, uh, need to have the coordination to get the two guys on the boost, two guys in through the, the warehouse. There's lots of coordination going on there that, you know, again, with two stand-ins, it's hard to ask for that. And here we go. We see Gamers 2 once again going for that B storage push. 
Now Hellraisers had been looking for it like in multiple rounds previous to this, but Hellraisers won't be able to defend ag defend again against it, even though they have come to expect it. Yeah, Fox is on points on the B bomb site, and unfortunately for Hellraisers, those points seem to be all over their upper bodies. Adren finds himself the last man standing again, gets a kill on to Rain, but that will be a consolation. McLeary coming in to clean things up to finish things off. Hellraiser's money is in an awkward place now where, you know, if they go for the buy here, we've got Galil's coming in. Indeed, they'll opt to do that. Just the one Galil, actually, but next to no nades. They've sacked the nades, basically, so they could buy the 47s and helmets. So they're going to need to simply out-aim. They have one flash and one Molotov after that smoke. That smoke has left too much of a gap. Fox almost punishes, but again, he's just... These flicks are landing almost every time. Down goes Angel uh, for... They've done a bit of damage to Fox, but it doesn't really matter ultimately. He's got an AWP. As long as he's quicker on the trigger, he will be all good in the hood. Rain oh. with a boost angle, but simple. We'll shoot him in the face. Simple left of one HP. Rain very unlucky there. And they messed up the, the Molotov into the vent. And I don't think that they spotted that they messed it up. That's another th thing as well. Because Scream's still standing there in the vents. They may not expect this. We have to see. Adren's actually looking towards the angle. But uh, they might think that this is a bit safer than it actually is. Now, Scream in this position will give all the information to his team as to what is going on for Hellraisers. And Hellraisers are starting to run out of time, so if they haven't pushed mid by 40 seconds or so, it starts to become quite obvious what's going on. And that is the, the A play. It's much, much more likely. And uh, they haven't spotted anything towards B. King win, or Games 2 should start to be really suspicious of this A play. Now they have, have had spot contact towards A, it's become obvious. Fix will actually go for the mid push as his team pushes through A main at the same time, trying to split onto the bomb site. Mo is going to try to challenge down Dennis, who eliminated that mid player but it will not come together once again for Hellraisers. Gamers 2 are looking quite strong and uh, they may well finish this 11-4 as Hellraisers are going to struggle to have much to throw at them in this round. Yeah, the struggle is real on the T side at the moment. Oh, Simple just full bolt there, even though the rest of his team didn't. Well, if he's heading, let's see where he's going. If he's heading towards B, then he, he has a history of ripping open rounds. Problem is, there is a fox to deal with, and he is just shooting everyone before Simple can even fire a, a bullet. Adren, though, has got two frags, and now this gets interesting because he's got an M4 as well as Simple's AK. Simple's carrying the bomb, so he's got to be careful because if obviously if he goes down, then that could be curtains. He's taken down Fox. Fox has been a massive thorn in the side of Hellraiser's McLeary coming in for the flank, but can he get there in time? Mo looking for the split with his teammate. McLeary is still a bit of a ways away. Scream just has to live. He's going to let Michael do his work and he's going to be finding Adrian. That's the bomb down as well. So now Mo is in a really weird position because even though he's got time, he's yeah, there's not much he can do there. Scream finds the peak whilst he's still reloading his AWP and that's going to be the uh, going to be the round. So still yet to really do all that much damage. Ten rounds in a row. Yeah, looking pretty strong indeed for Gamers 2. See Fox with zero assists. He is just bodying people who come towards the B bomb site. Has an AWP once more. One on Mo as well. So changing up the approach of oh, Hellraisers. I really like the uh, full buy from Simple in the last rounds. I gotta say, having like the w at least like one guy with the AK is pretty cool. Yeah, we absolutely know what what he's capable of. We've witnessed it on this specific map towards B. Yeah, yeah. Before. And. We've seen such crazy stuff on both bomb sites, but like Fox is really being like some of those off shots towards B storage have been so crippling for Hellraisers, and they've been reinvesting in that so much. Now we oh we have a player pushed in. It's uh, Rain. He's pushed in a main. He could basically just kill this round if they don't check lockers. If they don't have the cognizance to check lockers, oh, and he's the it's barrel the will be spotted. Well. He's gonna see the barrel. He's gonna peek. Oh, that actually <laughs> ended up working out because he's he is fixated on the guy with the AWP instead of uh, looking at the off angle, which Fix was basically in. So that turn turned out pretty good here for Hellraisers, but can they capitalize on the opening? They are on the bomb side. They've got people in quad and NBK, but the bomb hasn't gone down yet. And indeed, it's on the floor. Angel and Simple, though, turning this round inside out. Angel with the one tap on to Fox to finish things off. 10 to 5 in favor of Gamers 2. Yeah, uh, I, I personally, it's, it's somewhat expect, expected. That's why I was so surprised, you know, 
generally speaking, the Hellraiser would pick this map against them. It does kind of make sense because they really love playing this, but you know they're playing with two stand-ins, so it's it's hard to see uh, another result than a strong strong half for Kingwin. The game is two Kingwin. I wonder though, you know, if if Hellraiser's get a good start, if they'll be able to to patch things together right now. It's definitely definitely a, a uh, possibility, and we're gonna have that classic split up mid into the A-bomb side here from Gamers 2. So it's quite a fun round to play on the pistol, but we're going to see how Razors, they actually put two players on the bomb site, the A-bomb site, this, and it's going to be really, really effective. Adren! Oh, excellent stuff from Adren. He's going to create a situation for how Razors where they actually have an advantage going into this one. Dennis is in that one on two. He is definitely a brutal pistol player, but simple. Is just as brutal as him, if, if not more so. And Hellraisers, in fact, do pick up that pistol. Now, no bomb went down for Gamers 2, which is unfortunate. And that means that we're going to see a force buy. Indeed we are. Let's see what Gamers 2 can do. Is it about damage, or are they going to win the round? Or will it be a complete disaster? One of the three is about to happen. Hellraisers is going to leave one person over towards the B, A bomb site, And wow. Dennis is... Uh, Causing absolute problems. This is not going the way of Hellraiser. They've lost three people. I mean, you have to favor them to lose the round at this point. And there goes a the fourth. They haven't, they've only got Scream so far. It's fixed versus four. Oh my god. Uh, this is really rough. And the bomb has gone down now. And he's got to look everywhere. Just some of the crossfires that they can set up here are so ridiculous. Fix is not on for this well. Fix has one HP down. I have two. I have two pennies in my pocket, and Fix has one HP. He doesn't have two pixels of health, Dan, to rub together. He couldn't make a fire with one HP, Dan. I, I, I guess not. I guess not. Either way, we're gonna see eleven six now, and that is horrendous because they get reset in the worst way. We get a couple weapons, or actually four weapons that were picked up. No, sorry, three weapons that were picked up from Gamers Two. So that that in of itself is a big value swing, but they survived with four players. So. That is painful. Molotovs are the order of the day here on the G2 side as they head towards the A bomb site. There are currently only two players towards A and a potential flank maybe coming in, but oh, I yes. highly doubt it's going to come in anytime soon. Fix tries to make an escape, but he will be hunted like a deer in the woods. Nice, nice use of Molotovs there. They they could have uh, they could have. I think there, there, there are definitely better Molotov setups, but they cleared out some of the most dangerous positions. And uh, that's fantastic to see that. Really simple, clean, effective anti-eco. Sometimes people are like, oh, you know, Molotovs are so expensive, you know. But the thing is, is that if you get five of them, that is, what, you know, $2,000. It's more expensive to lose around that. Yeah, it's $2,000, and you guarantee yourself that you'll take, the, take the, the bomb site and probably get the bomb down, which is going to be a lot more money. That's going to be... $4,000 for your team, so... Indeed, so Hellraiser's still in economical turmoil. That nade will be a bit of a bonus, though. But uh, you can see G2 just keeping their moving accuracy going, although they've just upgraded one of those SMGs for a Fallen M4. Dennis holding things down in the boost. Always good to see him up there. Still memories of when he was an LGB causing havoc. It's a three-pointer in the vents. Not much to say here. Hellraiser's, again, they are on the eco after all. Angel not even going to try and get the weapon. I'm not sure if the weapon fell down on yeah. the ground there or not. But uh, I think, you know, there's a... feels like he has a higher purpose. Coming in for more. He's going to find it. Yes! Angel's having just a whale of a time here running around. That is hilarious. Shooting people in the face. He was making so much noise there, but... <laughs> Oh, that's really funny. Either way, it's uh, going to be hard for him to do much here, considering the fact that he's got no Kevlar, but he's still racking up kills, <laughs> takes down Fox. Bomb will be planted, though, towards the B-bomb site. And now the, the real issue for Angel is that he has no... Okay, he doesn't have any Kevlar. He's got 36 HP. He has no idea where the opponent is. And he's got no he's got no Diffuse Kit. There are so many things wrong for, the <laughs> for Angel right now. <laughs> so many things are wrong for Angel. Oh. He's uh, it's an open plant <laughs> as well. It just looks at it. It's like, nope. Yeah. <laughs> it just nope. It's like, this could not be I'm out. More, a more difficult situation. Unless, it, unless all of G2 are alive. Not, not, not even Angel's going to go for that one. That, that tells you something. Yeah. Angel is like one of the most, like, 
I don't want to use this turn because all I in. Have... You were going yeah. to say YOLO, no, weren't you? No, no, yeah, yeah. But he's he's one of the, he's one of those players that just doesn't care at all. He respects no one. Exactly, he's got no respect, and that's 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 beautiful to see. Bike comes out from Hellraisers once more. Mo on the AWP, headed looking towards the mid area. Now the smoke's down, he will have a peek towards the boost. See what uh, the play is from King Gwyn. If they'll go for a late mid take. Hellraisers with a 2 1 2 set up for the time being. Fox taking pot shots towards B. And I believe we see a jumping angel there over the smoke, just trying to find someone to shoot in the head. Yeah, so mid has been abandoned completely by Hellraisers. And I would be very curious to see a very slow round from, from King Gwyn, which which evolves into. A delayed mid take, but that said, they've actually pushed. I think Michael Ellie up there, or it's uh, is it could be yeah, it's Michael Ellie. He's up by the white box, so just having him in that position alone means that they don't need to go for delayed mid take because he already has middle. Now, how they play this from this position, there's lots of considerations. Like he could just not peek at all, depending on what happens with uh, his team on the site, because he doesn't need to necessarily provide that much pressure. Just need to provide some some uh, some presence and then capitalize when the team when his uh, opponents are distracted. Here we go. Mo is going to make the defense there on Fox. We should start to see Michael in a move soon, but he's got to be careful about rotation as well. And Mo and Adren are doing so much work here that it actually just doesn't even matter right now. Michael is playing the Lurk, but now he is the only man left alive. He'll take down one, but there's still three more players left to kill, and Simple is going to do the job and take him out. So how is this with another round? But there's still another buy for gamers too. Mo getting nasty with the AWP. Once more, we've seen so much of that from him and we continue to see it here. We'll see if he can get his team back in the game. They have a six round deficit and they cannot afford to lose many or any more rounds here on the CT side. Again, they had a very rough, bumpy start to this second half. They've got some momentum going. You can see the money's being strained on the gamers two side, lacking the grenades. Are we going to see a continuation push here on the B bomb site? You can see Angel holding the angle and he is being waited for, but will they have a meeting of the minds? Indeed, Angel will push as that smoke comes in and uh, Fox will be forced to retreat, but there he goes. That's some information for the T's, but they've still got someone in a rain is in T spawn at the moment. Just trying to check. There is a, a, a road sign you can jump on top of to get a peek, especially with a sniper rifle. McAlele getting a frag over towards the A site where the bomb is now rotating, but rain is still in T spawn. Going down to Angel, so T-Spawn wasn't safe for him. Thought he had a flank, but unfortunately for him, Angel has other ideas. So, man advantage for the CTs as King would head towards A. Yeah, Dren's in a pretty sick position, and considering how low gamers 2 are, it should be way, way too easy of an affair for him to clean up every player. And he's doing just that. Quick double there in, and he switches to the USP, and that is going to be enough as Hellraiser has taken another round. And that's going to be Eco City for gamers 2 now. They've got no money to play with, so... Should be another round for Hellraisers, to be honest. But that said, Hellraisers, you know, they've sustained quite a lot of damage in these rounds, so they're not going to have all that much money. So they really need a clean round here, and y you would be surprised to see anything except that reality. Simple and Mo both on the Yorks. The problem is, if G2 get a good start on this, uh, on this, well, I say this spy, they have a P250 and Tech 9, and that's about it. But no, on the on the fourth spy they had they had a really good start and if you have to try and retake with two orbs it might not work out for you. Speaking of twos, two people have gone down for G2 already, and those are the two with the Tech 9 and the P250. So can't expect much from G2 in this situation. We've got one person lurking squeaky and starting to push there, but we, the uh, bomb is over towards the B bomb site. So if he was trying to run distraction, it's worked to a T. We've had one and a half people rotate, but there are still two people in the B bomb site. So I don't think Scream is going to get a plant here. Facing mid, getting a dink, but uh, range will be a problem and Mo will survive. Yeah, a lot of damage fall off there with the pistols at that range for sure. So they, they've identified as well that there's double up, a simple and Mo, which is definitely a scary prospect. The game is two in with the AKs now. So are they going to go fast? What, what kind of play do they have in mind with this with this round? Because you don't really want to play picks against Simple and Mo. That's that's kind of uh, that would be, I think, a bad idea. But I'm winning for Gamers Two to prove me wrong. But it does look like they're going for just a really fast B split, and this is a great way to eliminate the the, the advantages of those orbs. The Angel once again, Antonio, man, no respect. He just goes straight in, 
and gets straight away dropped by Rain. Good opener for Gamers 2. Penguin are all over this round. Mid is a complete no-go area, unbeknownst to Fix. There is somebody below him. It's Scream, and Fix is dead. Adren coming in to do what he can, but looks like it could be advantage G2 here. Although the G2 uh, numbers are falling as well, but Mo 7 HP, Adren with 33, there's not much they can expect each other to do. Yeah, this is this is definitely safe territory. And uh, well, I guess it looks like they are considering getting some exits as well. And Mo's gonna pick up Dennis. And that also does make it a little bit safer for them to save if they're able to get these cheeky exits. But it does need, does need to be a little bit careful here because he, he's not really able to pull back very effectively. So that strikes me as quite quite strange that uh, that Adren was committing like that. Well, off better or worse, Hellraiser survive with only the AWP, and they will buy up once more. And I think Mo's bought a second orphan friend one to simple. Indeed, he has. Yes. So the double ops continue. G2, maybe maybe they're buying against what they they think G2 will expect. Obviously, they just had double off. It failed. They're going straight back for the same play. Makaleli monitoring the position under the boost. And hey, G2 are going for the same play as well. Angel and Simple go down fast once again. And this has got to be the crushing blow for Hellraisers. Because the retake is going to be hard, if not impossible here. This time, the CTs have mid, but that's all they have. Only two of them left, two of them mid, heading towards CT at the moment. Yeah, and let's not forget I believe they don't have any money. If I'm not mistaken, so what what do they even have to throw into the next round? Um, I think that how many have they lost in a row? Like two or three now. So okay, it'll be the second loss in a row. So they're gonna get nineteen hundred dollars. Yeah, they're completely broke. They're gonna have something in a region of two to three k on average for most players, and it's gonna be they're in trouble. Dan. It's gonna be map point for <laughs> match point for gamers too as well. So that's that, <laughs> that kind of sucks. They really need to keep these two rifles left alive. Gamers 2 know if they can eliminate these two rifles that they pretty much won this match. Oh, the timing from G2. They are showing Gorgeous. some improvement here, Dan. That's, that was Must nice. Must be said. That was nice. So, 59 match point indeed. Everyone's stuck between 2 to 3k dollars. And we'll see what they can muster. It's not really all that much, to be honest. But it's, it's something, I suppose. Fish and chips. They've got the money for fish and chips, Dan. I don't know when I last ate <coughs> fish and chips, to be honest. I don't like it. Shouldn't say that in public, Dan. So, two rifles and not much else here for the CT side. It's still, you know, gamers two still have a round to win. The owners, to some degree, is on them at present. It's it's funny how Harris is completely blind about middle, but they've actually decided to to put three players in A. This is this is going to end up being the right call. Yeah, I think they have simple peeking in. Uh, <coughs> mid, and he just got a kill onto Rain. There's another one from Adren. Good aggression from him will make it three versus three. But uh, Hellraiser's falling. Fix and Angel remain. Fix only with a Deagle. But he's on the site, and he's going to go unchecked. There's a one headshot, and the bomb plant has got to be worried now. They can't plant the bomb because he's got no cover. Angel and Fix have these players pinched. Down goes Dennis. Fix looking to finish things off with the Deagle, and indeed he will, making it look easy, Dan. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, that was awesome from Fix. It's so, there's so much chaos, so much stuff going on that it's it's really hard to know where to look and when. So game is two still on match point, but they are going to be buying within. Uh, well, they don't have any money left. Let's just put it like that. They have no money left after this purchase. So our races could feasibly get to 12 rounds if they win this one. And they have they have some good weapons behind them and most going to get an opener a stronger uh, opener at that into middle and now that might be the distraction simple needs indeed he's going to go in he'll get the kill and this wall of smokes play is not working out for gamers too all they have is scream all he's got is a deagle he's scanning for for an ak for something but is he going to find it it's like he won't he does spot simple he's going in with the usp <laughs> he's not going to let scream escape no escape no retreat no surrender There it is. Remorseless Savage, and he definitely wants that Deagle. McAlealy got launched into space at the beginning of that round, had the smoke in, tried to run in backwards with a flashbang off the wall, but it was a great timing nade, and the follow-up spray was enough to do the job. Now let's look at the situation for G2. It's their turn to be forced onto an eco, and Hellraisers I still have a chance. 
They've uh, overcome some difficult times to get to this point, but they still have a four-round deficit, and they need 100% success. Otherwise, they are going to find their second loss on day one of oh, the face oh. of the Nolly. Uh-oh. Angel is so dead in that position. Oh, they're lining up for simple though. He pulls out the Deagle. He won't get the kill. It's going to be Rain who will pick that one up, and it's going to be a three-on-two situation. Michael Ella and Rain have it all to do to just close this one out here and now. But they have no Kevlar. The bomb is down over by Toxic in B storage. There is no way to get that bomb onto the site right now. They do have time, however, to take this easy and to try to chill. But there is a flank. It is Fix. He's just going to stay put here. This is a great position. Fix with that position it basically kills the round because there's no way into the bomb site. And it's very unlikely that they are going to be able to kill Fix there. There is no escape there. There, there is actually not so little to do in this position. Resistance Song is futile, Dan. As long as Hellraisers hold, uh, hold this beat the B angles properly, they won this round. That's a nice spot from Adren. You can get up there without requiring a boost. Coming up on the sandbags. Nice. Allows, it, allows you to see over the smokes. Nice play by Makalele, but he has left his teammate alone. Rain going to go for the close quarters. Tech 9 looking for the one taps. Fix us an much more useful than the M4. Mo runs around the corner. And that's going to be that Hellraisers survive once more. The bo to be fair though, the bomb down is, is really crucial. Because we're going to see uh, the money for Kingwin, Games 2 Kingwin now. <laughs> and you can see the $800 did make a really big difference here. They're, they're able to get all the nades now. And uh, have a little bit spare. Which is really, really good. Right, well. B-Rush. Let's go, James. Check that out. How about, how about that? Oh. You ever noticed that dude on the wall? No, actually. Indeed. So we've there got, a f we've got yeah. Speaking of B rush, we've got three man CT push towards B, looking for yet more aggression. But the, the CT is going to flash themselves, and I thought maybe that would save the trade, but it won't. Angel though will of course trade, and uh, I think Hellraisers will be happy with that for the time being. Let's see how Gamers Two reacts. But no, the push continues from Hellraisers towards B. Naturally, normally you would go back, but of course that's why you can't. You don't have to go back, and you can continue to go forward. Simple taking that scream elsewhere. Oh, nice shot there from Murray's gonna duck out of court in time to get both the kills, and that's gonna shut the rush down. It's just Dennis left. He's got a clutch here. He's got time, a minute to play with, and he sh this this is a position where patience and discipline pays off massively. We'll have to see how smart Dennis can be in this position. He's deciding to just to go for it. How is this eventually after enough time? We'll have to split up, but right now it's not that time. He's shown himself now, so they're not gonna be within obscurity. They don't have to split up because they know where Dennis is. I don't think he waited long enough. He's in a lot of trouble at this point in time. He's unlikely he's going to have a good time to get the bomb down. A simple has an incendiary. He's not in a position to throw it though, so that's going to be the bomb planted at the very least. Dennis is down to 23 HP though, so he's getting lower and lower. All the nades have been expended by the CTs as they close on Dennis's position. There goes the spot. This is looking really bad right now. They're getting so close, wrapping around him. There's nothing that he can do. Nothing. This could be going to overtime, Dan. I really feel like Dennis should have waited like at least 20 seconds for pushing in there. James. I don't think there's any wrong decision necessarily. Well, the CTs are both at car. If you wait, then they, they either have to gamble or it's likely they'll split up eventually. They could also so push the so site. So you might as well wait so that then, then uh, it's, like a, you've, it's for free with that much time left. So just wait. It's my opinion. As a professional gamer, James. <laughs> so, can Gamers 2 take it over the line here? They're looking to rush the B-bomb site again, but uh, Angel and Adren finding the two frags this time. Simple coming in for support, but things have slowed down, but Gamers 2 still seem to be committed to the site. The flash comes in on Simple, but he won't make his presence known. No blind spray coming in. Starts to push now, and Rain is right behind him. Both blind for a second, but Simple will finally fall. Three versus three, and again, Fix has got the flank, makes himself, uh, announces himself faster this time. Scream going down for free there. And now, P2 are between a rock and a hard place, but the rock has been uh, crushed by the paper. So, respect my analogy. Is, uh, respect it. Like, how is this gonna work for our races right now? Because we, we had that, si that similar position where they don't know which bomb site Games two are going to go to, so they've they've spread out. Adren is playing into middle. He's playing the vents. It's one of the fastest rotation uh, times so to also be able to spot. He's dead. That. Oh dear, that's not that is not good here for gamers two. 
But oh, still, this, this could not be more perfect for Mo. They're still gonna unless he misses the shot. The one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Rain has to kill Mo straight away. He needs to kill right now. Okay, the bomb can go down now. But he's expect. He, maybe he feels like he waited too long. T uh, Ten seconds left. Adrenaline's really close. Oh dear, Rain's gonna not be able to pull that one off. And so how is this now? Just one more round, and they can do this. And with no bomb down, the buy is going to be strained, very strained. There's not many grenades for gamers to king win. They have some AKs, which is nice, but no grenades. Well, can Hellraisers do it? Can they take this to overtime? Done well to get this far. Yeah, they really have. Yeah, it's interesting that, that, that despite all these victories, Angel starts the round with only a CZ. But uh, needs must, as they say. Flying down to whatever they can. Angel's done great work. We've seen him get a three-man with uh, a CZ in one round. Oh yeah, the on overpass. Yeah, that was <laughs> that was pretty amazing. So we'll see if he can keep his uh, connections live. He's such a confident player. It's, it's really fun to watch watch him play. Hellraisers have taken over a main. That's going to allow them to almost completely abandon it, actually. We do have a lurker towards A. I don't know if they're going to hear the door being opened, but then obviously G2 aren't gonna, going to expect this to happen either through the door. Maclele is going to get completely annihilated by Fix, and that's not going to distract Hellraisers for too long. They have one and a half people, but no, they are all streaming. Gravity is bringing them down to the bottom of the minimap, Dan. Yeah, it's looking pretty hard for Gamers2 to win this round, to be honest, considering, as you mentioned, the positioning from Hellraisers is quite suffocating. They are constricting Gamers2, and they don't even know it yet. We have the flanks coming in. That means Hellraisers know exactly what's happening. It's impulse by the envious box, and oh, it is all too perfect. Looks like Hellraisers are going to take us to overtime. More rounds, please. This is going to be MR5. For those of you unfamiliar with overtime rules, MR5 means that we're going to have max rounds five each half as opposed to 15. And both teams will start with 16 thousand dollars all the toys can be purchased but the cities have to be careful they've got two prominent orpers on their side but should they start buying double ops at this stage and losing dan then they may find themselves running out of money very quickly indeed so the teams will start on the same side as they were on previously and with all the money as well which does change things quite a lot yeah it's good the momentum can continue for hellraisers yeah it definitely favors them because they were struggling on money a lot and now they don't have to worry about it. So many nades. Look at all the nades they've used already. They're, it seems that they're expecting a fast play somewhere from Gamers 2. And they're trying to def to uh, dis defuse that situation before it catches fire. One frag through the smoke in favor of the Hellraiser side. But uh, Fox is going to come in with Scream as well and Rain. And spin this round all the way back in their favor. Just down to the hyper-aggressive player Angel gets himself two frags. It's got time to reload. Now, while this bomb goes down, he'll have a second to try and find himself a one versus one. But he's not even going to wait. Pushing out. And there we go. All of a sudden, it's just down to Angel and Makaleli. But Angel has all of six HP. Makaleli needs to find one bullet. And indeed, he will. Just about surviving game for Gamers 2. Picking up the AWP as well. The crazy thing was how fast uh, how fast the flank came in from from uh, from Angel on middle. And that's something that's always scary of Angel when he, whenever he's playing a CT side. Because he, he will sometimes just decide to just go aggressive by himself, just anywhere. And it, and on this map, it can often be middle, which is why usually at the start of the rounds, you like, you know, it's, it's nice to nade all those close spots on middle to try to flush the CTs back so that they don't have the opportunity to flank so easily. Fix going to play through the smoke in main. Unbeknownst to him, there is a T very close indeed. Is he going to find a top of Rain's head? I'm not sure. But oh, I thought Angel was flanking again, but he's still in mid for the time being. Fix indeed does see the head and he will take it off, remove it from the rest of Rain's body. You can see Angel just itching to push through that smoke. Fix will retain control of A main for now, but there's still only, with this setup, there's only one person towards the B bomb site here for Hellraisers and the retake might be very difficult indeed. I think maybe Angel is starting to lurk around the mid area, but if he throws a nade there, it might give the game away. There is a lurker for the T side as well. Simple's ready to do the, the, the scream action there on the bomb site. And there goes the flash over the top. He's done a great job in eliminating Fox. He was orping. And now gamers two, how do they get into the bomb site? That's that it feels almost impossible at this point. Because again, there can be presence from vents, potentially, as there is a player in the middle there for, for Hellraisers. 
and they've got players all over the bomb site as well. It's, it's just this this rush has stopped in this track. On the push, I should say. Although Dennis is going to get a quick double, but he's alone. He's got 34 HP. He is trying to do the impossible there, spinning around to take down Angel, but he just doesn't have enough left in the tank, and it will be around one by Hellraisers once again. So this this is really anyone's anyone's game, of course. I don't really know how to call this. It's kind of kind of madness. Just it's just some kind of crazy madness. And these have been very <laughs> expensive rounds. These are, there's a, we're only two rounds into overtime, and they've been expensive rounds for both sides. Orps on both teams again. Now uh, we'll see. It's Mo and Makalele. Just waiting for that those flames to go away. Again, just delaying any uh, ideal timing for gamers too. All right, in goes the terrace. And they go. They're going in. They're going to find an angel just sitting in there. I think there's an invisible smoke, guys. Yep. Um, so we're going to have angel taking down everybody once again. Very nice response there in middle. Michael Ellen needs to deal some excellent damage here with this orb. Nice snap onto Adren. Simple is lurking and you'll finish off Michael Ellen. It feels like Hellraisers have found themselves a lot of form, a lot of momentum. They're hitting their stride at a key moment in this match to bring things away from Kingwin. And Kingwin right now, they've only won one in this overtime. And uh, they really need to. They need more. They really, really need more. Worth noting that uh, Simple had an opportunity to pick up a second AWP there, but opted to keep the M4, which I think is a sensible play, as it gives them bigger opportunities to be dynamic. Going for an aggressive play towards B, maybe with not the best spawn. Fox taken down early. Fix taken down. Fox and Fix. Fox getting a frag. Fix being fragged. It's the best I could do. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, so this this uh, when, whenever you're playing CT and you're in this kind of spot, you have to take risks. Angel uh, decided to be the one to take the risk, and he died. Now, <laughs> Dren, he's going to try to take a risk into a main, and he will pick himself up a kill, but uh, look at the wallbang damage there. He's down to 5 HP. Nicely done there by gamers too. It looks like they should be able to take this round without any further problems. So again, we're going to go to a 2-2 uh, scoreline in this overtime on the first half. On the first half. On the first half. I'm very, I'm, I, I don't know how things are going to work out in the second half, to be honest. Like, uh, I mean, how Razors are hitting better later into this one. You know, they're probably a lot more warm now at this stage, having played so many rounds. But uh, how effective would that be in there on the T sides? Because Kingwin are just really... Games 2 are really good on their CT sides, typically. We saw that, in fact. They had a, uh, I mean, what, well, Hellraisers took the first four rounds, and then Gamers 2 just, they just crushed them. They just proceeded to crush them. I have no idea who's going to win this. I think, actually, I think um, if Gamers 2 take the last rounds, so I think they would probably win, because there's no pistol round, and Hellraisers really struggled on the T side. That's my call. That's my read. <coughs> now, the double ops do come out for Hellraisers. After uh, having the option to pick one up for free and deciding against it, they're going to mix things up here. And Gamers 2 appear to be going for the fast play once again, but seems that Simple was not happy being taken down by Fox in the previous round, and this time he will get sweet revenge. Angel has fallen, and Simple's been traded. Three versus three now, with the CTs out of position, trying to scramble to get on the site. Man at disadvantage now, Mo going down, leaving Fix and Adren to do what they can. Yeah, this is a rough situation. Positionally, that was pretty crazy from how Razor's there. They suffered for it, but they're looking for the save here. They're looking to fix, they're looking to Adren, and Fix is getting some excellent damage there, but it won't be enough to take down Michael Ele, and Scream is going to just deal Deal an excellent frag on to Adren to finish the round. So Gamers 2 will be the one to win the, the first half, 3 to 2. And tw they just need three more rounds. 21 is the magic number for uh, for this format. For victory. First to six rounds. Yeah, max, max rounds 10 is really nice. Nice format for, uh, for pr providing some consistency. More consistency in the, in the result. So Angel has an AWP instead of Simple. I think he's playing a uh, spawn to try and get a B pick, although he's slowing down, so now I don't know why. 
went for the shot. He got clipped himself through the corner of the wall, so he's lucky to be alive here. 2 HP. So at this point, he can't even really throw the AWP over to Simple because he's probably better off going for a one-shot than uh, blocking an AK in this situation. The funny thing is both teams are saying to each other, yeah, we're both, we're, we're just going to try to pick you. You have, you have two ults, we have two ults, and they're going to throw the two AWPers against each other for the picks. And this round, game is two. They got the better end of the stick. It's a shinier stick. Shinier end of the stick. Shiny stick sounds weird. It's Why is it shiny? Is it covered with glitter or what? Exactly. Oh, okay. It's better. Only one frag for Hellraisers. After buying two orbs, Gamers 2 will continue with their own two orbs. And again, it's MR5, so you have to wonder how many orbs are Hellraisers going to buy after that failure. Adrian with 12.5k could drop one. He's yet to buy. He's going to go AK as well. So it's going to be full AKs. Maybe they've identified that Gamers 2 are playing double ops and they're trying to counter it with a fast play of their own with five rifles. But it's, they're fairly spread out at the moment and there are three in the B bomb site going for a push here with Fox leading the charge with the big green gun. Or rather a yellow one. And there we go. He's going to get the first bag onto Angel and move out of there and leave his teammates to clean things up. Now, if you if you look at it, the other side of it, in that situation, <laughs> oh my God. that's absolutely nasty. Now, when when uh, Hellraiser's were on a CT side, Simple was trying to do that and it wasn't working out and he was being traded, but gamers to um, have the right support for their AWPA to avoid that situation from happening. And even will hold the angles for them to go for that repeat. Very nicely done indeed. Yeah, they, I mean, I think I would say you called it right. They needed an execute at the start of this round, especially you know because they're saying, okay, we're going to play with, with uh, five AKs and no orbs now. And they'd done the pick versus pick battles before in the rounds previous with getting all the orbs together. But Gamers 2 are just better at the moment. Just in, like Fox on B storage is an absolute beast. The only person that's been beating him has been Simple. Um, and Simple's been doing it by just being a little bit faster, but it's not been consistent either. So now we've got match point for Gamers 2. And Harry's have gone back for a bit of a mixed bag of tricks. They've got one up on Mo and the four AKs to support. So are they going to go for a fast play? It does look like they're, they're powering into a main. But, but uh, what is this going to look like? So we've got the boost coming in towards A and the push coming in towards B, which means there will be lots of CTs to contend with. But who's it going to work out for? And can the CTs get there in time? Fix and Angel going to get frags towards the A site that boost. Never really made it. Makalele going to get a snap onto Angel, but he will require more snaps. Three versus three. Retake with two ops. Never going to be easy. This is a, not a nice situation. When you've got to retake a site, but when your team opponents make it easy for you, then uh, things might just work out for you. Fix versus three with 10 HP. And there are, there's a Molotov and the HE on Fox. But Fox goes down. There goes they go to grenades. Remaining two players both have diffuse kit. So they've got time to play with. Ooh, but Fix is dancing. Right, can he 1v3 this with 10 HP? He's got seven bullets left in the clip, and he's just about not going to do it. Dennis has uh, saved the day for Kingwin Gamers 2 and taken their first match ever in the Face It League. Yeah, yeah, that was really pretty. I mean, what what do you say about that match? It was so weird because how races play with two stand ins. They had to play, they had to play uh, Kingwin, or sorry, Gamers 2 Kingwin at their own game. And we saw that happening, you know, in a lot of rounds. It's just orbs versus orbs, picks versus picks happened all the time. And as expected, game is 2 1. But it was really close. So that surprised me how close it was. It was cool to see how good Fix is. And, uh, you know, Fix played really well. Yeah. And Simple also, you could see that he was communicating well with his team. But there's only so much you can do with an impromptu lineup like that. Okay, so our last match of the evening is going to be Envy versus TSM. That's due to start pretty much now, so we're probably going to go to a very short break. Obviously, overtime has brought us to this moment. So give us a few minutes, guys. We'll set up that match, and we will see you back here very shortly indeed.